Good morning, Cathedral. It's Friday, December 6th. I'm Eric. And I'm Sheridan with your morning announcements. Christmas Miracle Committee would like to remind all staff and students that the Christmas Miracle gifts are due by the end of the day. They can be dropped off in a Christmas gift bag to Miss Elliot in room 319 or Miss Kasemba in room 335. Presents can also be dropped off to students sitting outside of the CAF during both lunches. Period 1 classes who sign up to support a family will have until Tuesday, December 10th, to fill a basket with non-perishable food items and toiletries. And speaking of Christmas, today is the last day that tickets for the Christmas formal will be sold for $20. From next Monday to Wednesday, you can buy your ticket for $25. Guest tickets can be purchased only on the 9th and 10th for $30. Don't delay in getting your ticket as this winter formal always sells out. And we'll be right back after this. Candy cane grounds. Okay, hurry up. Telly Zimmerman, two for you. Glen Coco, four for you, Glen Coco. You go, Glen Coco. And uh, Caddy Heron. Do we have a Caddy Heron here? It's Katie. Oh, Katie, here you go. One for you. Um. And none for Gretchen Wieners. Bye. The Diversity Ambassadors are selling candy grams during lunches in the forum. Make sure to send a candy gram to all of your friends. They are 50 cents each or three for one dollar. Queen's University Accelerated Route to Medical School is a unique initiative where 10 extraordinary high school students will be prepared to start medical school after two years in undergraduate arts, science and computing. To find out more, check out queensu.ca or you can see the posting outside the guidance office. Next Tuesday in the forum at 7 p.m., the Glee Club is hosting their annual Christmas concert. 100% of the proceeds will be going to the McMaster Children's Hospital. Tickets are $3 for students and $5 for adults, and they are on sale today. Today and every Friday, the CHS Salon is open to staff and students. Services such as nail painting, hair straightening and curling, and many more are available, available periods 1, 2, and 5 on Fridays for a minimal fee for students that are on a spare. For more information, see Mrs. Boncori in room 100. And don't forget that today the CHS cheerleading team will be hosting a bake sale in the gym during the Mark Walton Invitational Basketball Tournament. Graduates, listen up. The potential graduation list for June 2014 is posted outside the guidance office. Only those students who have completed both the literacy component and community service hours are eligible to graduate. Beginning in semester 2, 2014, our co-op department will begin a new experiential learning partnership with Habit for, Habitat for Humanity Hamilton. This new program has the capacity to provide 10 to 14 students an opportunity to earn both construction and cooperative education credits. There will be a presentation of this program to potential students in the very near future. If you're interested to attend, please submit your name to one of the co-op teachers as soon as possible. Thank you from Mrs. Tambasco. Last night, our senior boys basketball team defeated Bishop Ryan 67-44 to in our Gale Dome. Jesse Bellio and Dylan Miller combined for eight three-pointers, and Isaiah the Silent Assassin Gordon added 12 points as well. Great win, boys. The senior boys are also playing today at 9.30 in a bio game against Eastern Commerce from Toronto. Period 3 teachers are asked not to mark the senior players late, as they will be arriving to class a few minutes after the Period 3 bell once their game is finished. Good luck, Gales. Thanks from coaches Mr. Mega and Mr. DeClaudio. Also in action last night was our midget and junior boys basketball teams. The midget boys came out strong in the first quarter and were able to maintain their advantage for the remainder of the game to defeat Bishop Ryan. A strong effort was put forth by all members of the team. The junior boys showed a lot of heart coming back from a 10-point halftime deficit. Although they suffered a narrow defeat to Bishop Ryan, they showed great improvement and gave, gave a glimpse of their potential. Practices for both midget boys and junior boys resume on Monday. And last night... And last night, the senior girls volleyball team played against the Bishop Ryan Celtics. The girls played one of their best games yet. They showed great determination and dedication. However, they came up short. Today, the girls have a tournament at St. Jean de Brebeuf. Good luck, ladies. Thanks from coaches Bombardieri, Savas, and Falinchak. Beginning this afternoon and finishing on Sunday, the Cathedral Curling Team participates in the Gore Insurance High School, High School Bond Spiel at the Welland Curling Club. This curling bond spiel is the oldest high school tournament of any sport in Ontario. Two years ago, Cathedral came second in the district at this tournament, and last year, Skip Alex McMillan had one of the most amazing final shots to win the game. 
Spectators were amazed. This year, Cathedral has a new skip, Ben Ecker, and Sean McMillan will be vice with Martin Hoyanchuk throwing second, and lead will be Jacob Warburton. Sparing for Cathedral is Sean Mason. The curlers are to meet at the guidance office at the end of period two. The roar of the ring continues. Good luck, Gales. And those are all of your announcements for today, Cathedral. A happy birthday goes out to Anna Vasquez from Sabrina and all your friends. Another happy birthday goes out to Erica Saunders from all your friends. Have a great weekend, Gales, and thanks for watching.